Hi, you're watching Guitar Problem. This is Aaron. And today I'm going to show you how to string a bass guitar. First things first, let's take a look at the different tools I'll be using. Alright, so for me, um, the most important thing for stringing a bass guitar or any guitar is a string winder. You can either get you one of the dudes like this, it makes your life way easier, or one like I got that also has a drill bit, it makes it way, way easier. If you uh, are a bass player and you don't have a string winder, you're asking for problems. It is a pain in the butt to hand wind all your bass strings. So, uh, also this is how I string up basses and guitars. It's not gospel, it's not law. Do what you do, do what works for you, but this is how I do it. First of all, I'm from the school of thought that you only take off one string off a bass at a time, like the way I was brought up, it was explained to me if you take off all four strings, it's going to mess up the action on the neck, but uh, that might not be true. It might just be a wives tale I'm living by, but I've been playing bass for 20 years and it's worked for me, so I'm going to keep doing it. So here we go. First things first, take off my E string. Look at that. If I would have did that by hand. I'd still be going for like a half an hour. Now once you do this, you can do it one of two ways. You can cut the string, or you can go down and pull it out of the bridge. And that's what I'm going to do. So. Be careful when you're doing this so that you don't scratch the body of the instruments. Alright, I got my E string off. Now, I am using Diodario Nickel Wound XL regular light gauge strings. I'm not endorsed by Diodario. It would be super awesome if they wanted to endorse me, send me some strings. Played a lot of strings throughout the years. This is what I use right now. They feel and sound the best for uh, what I'm doing these days. Strings everywhere, and they're color coordinated so you don't mess up and put the wrong string on. Here we go, got my E string. I come down here, run it through the bridge, drop the E string. Come down here, I'm going to run this E string through the bridge. Now, when you string your bass, you're going to want to have two or three good wraps around the tuning key, like these guys. Two or three good wraps to give it proper string tension. And how I measure my strings to make sure they're the appropriate length, I just go a little bit past the next uh, tuning key and I clip it there and that's what I do. I eyeball it. A little Kentucky windage. I clip that dude. And take the tip of it. Run it through the uh, center hole in the middle of the tuning key if your tuning keys have those. And you don't have to jam it all the way down to the bottom. I usually just put a little bit, and then I start winding the string. Again, you're going to be miserable if you don't have a drill bit or a winder.
Now I'm going to tune it into my E-string. Got my little clip-on snark tuner there, link in the description. These are my favorite little tuners. Now new strings need to stretch and set. So I tune it, give it a couple tugs. It's real hard, I'm not trying to break it or anything. And I tune it again. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing again. Tug on it a little bit. Tune it again. So I do that twice. Alright. Got my E string in. Moving to the A string. I believe I dropped the A string. Yes, here's the new A string. careful when you're running your strings in or out of the bridge. You don't want to scratch the body. Oh, and the bass I'm stringing today is a American-made Tobias Renegade. It, I'll probably do a review on this if you're curious to learn more about this bass. I just got it. And now, remember on the first one, I ran a little bit past the next tuning key, and that's how I measured how long you do the string. So I just, I measure that same gap distance like I used on the E string, my fingers, and then I just slide it down and eyeball it. See, look, a little bit past the string tree, or the tuning key, right there is where I'm going to cut it. It's not an exact science for me. As long as I got two or three wraps around the uh, tuning key, it's good enough. Yep. And the same thing, I'm going to tug on it a couple times, tune it, tug on it, retune it. And that's it. You just repeat that for the uh, rest of the strings, whether you got a four, five, six, or seven, or whatever string bass. Just repeat that process. So there you go. That's how you string a bass guitar. <laughs>